Hi girls, here I am in my office and um, I want to say my farewell to you but it's going to be quite difficult to do that because it's quite emotional for me to leave Gumley at the moment. Um, so I will be looking at bits of paper so forgive me if it looks like I'm looking down and not at you but I have to do that because what I want to say to you is from my heart and if I don't say it the way I want to say it, I'll get all mixed up and confused. I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to actually say a proper farewell to you before I left Gumley. But I will come back and I hope to say goodbye to you in person when you all return to school. So here I am in my office and as you can see behind me, there's a picture of Mary Madeline, our foundress. And also my lovely princess mug, because I am and always will be the princess of Gumley. And as I sit here and I think, what am I going to say to my lovely Gumley girls as I leave? This is what's come into my mind. And I, as you know, I always speak from the heart. I want you to know that I am proud, so proud of every single one of you. You are simply amazing. And I feel so blessed to have been your head teacher. If you remember, I've often said that you are beautiful and truly you are. This is because true beauty comes from within, through what you say, what you do, your words, your thoughts, your actions, the way you look at people and the way you treat people. Your response and expression matters. It can make someone smile or it can make somebody very unhappy. More importantly, it says a lot about who you are as a person. So be beautiful and never, ever, ever let anyone put you down. And if they do, you tell them, Miss Bragg says, I am beautiful, I am wonderful, I am magical. I ask all of you to put our FCJ values into practice and live your life in companionship and dignity. Be gentle with yourself and with others. Remember, you are not your mistakes. You are incredible young women who are going to set the world on fire with your passion and love of life. Strive for excellence in all you do, but excellence especially in your relationships with each other other people and with God most of all and be just in all you do. Despite all the sadness that you will experience in life, all the tragedy and all the sort of like obstacles that come your way, never ever ever lose hope and above all remember to live your life to the full and make our school motto Viva ut vivas really really mean something. Please be kind to Mr. Byrne, your new head teacher. Don't wear sparkly earrings. I'm not sure he'll know what to do or say if you do. And please don't roll your skirts up either. Don't put him in an embarrassing position to ask you to roll skirts down. He, like me, will still be able to see you hiding behind the green bins or behind walls. So wear your uniform with pride. So as you start the summer holiday, and prepare for the year ahead, I want you to make this promise to yourself. And I'm going to read this promise because this was given to me when I left my secondary school. And that was a very, very long time ago. So promise yourself to be strong that nothing can disturb your peace of mind. To talk health, happiness and prosperity to every person you meet to make all your friends feel that there is something special in them, to look at the sunny side of everything and make your optimism, optimism come true, to think only of the best, to work only for the best and to expect only the best, to be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as you do of your own, to forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievements of the future. To wear a cheerful countenance at all times and give every living creature you meet a smile. To give so much time to the improvement of yourself that you have no time to criticise others.
to be too large to worry, too noble for anger, too strong for fear, and too happy to permit the presence of trouble. To think well of yourself and to proclaim this fact to the world, not in loud words, but in great deeds. To live in faith that the whole world is on your side and you are true to the best that is in you. So this was a promise that I was asked to keep to myself and it was given to me by my old RE teacher, Miss Eastwood, when I left my school. And I'm passing that on to you now. So keep that promise to yourself. And finally, girls, I want you to remember, you're a Gumley girl. And once a Gumley girl, you're always a Gumley girl. I will be and always will remain a Gumley girl. And I hope to see you very, very soon, sometime in September or during the autumn term. So goodbye and God bless. Bye-bye.